we now go into the exciting topic of adding fractions. Let's start simple. To add fractions, you have to have the same denominator. Well, we do. We're adding one-fifth plus two-fifths. That's like saying one apple plus two apples. Well, that's three apples, right? So the rule is when the, when the denominator, I can say that word, did not, when the bottom number is the same. I can say the word denominator. If they're the same, you merely add the two numerators. One plus two equals three. And you keep the same denominator. There's the answer. Three-fifths. that a good answer? Sure. We don't need to reduce it. No. Nope. Can't reduce it. That's good. What about this? Hey, we have the same denominator. Two-thirds plus two-thirds. Well, let's see. They're the same at the bottom. Add the top numbers. Two plus two equals four. Keep that same bottom number, four thirds. There we go. There's a problem. That's what? What's the word for it? That's an improper fraction. Because it's improper, we can't leave it that way. You must convert that to a mixed number. Well, we discussed that in the video right above us, okay? There it is. Recall, let's convert this to a mixed number. You take the number and just divide. Four divided by three. Well, let's see. Three goes into four one time. So put the one there. That's the whole number. Uh, one times three. I multiply that. I subtract. But that's the remainder. That's that number. And I keep the same denominator. One and one third. Let's double check. Hey, double checking is real easy because it's this Whole number, one times three, one times three is three plus one, that's four. Yeah, I got it right. But always, again, there's two rules. If you can reduce, you must reduce the lowest terms. And if it comes out an improper fraction, convert to a mixed number. Let's say, oh, oh we got a problem. One fourth plus one half. We don't have a common denominator. So if the bottom number is not the same, you must do what? Well, enlarge. Here's why we have to learn to enlarge. Here's the reason for enlarging a number. We have to enlarge one or the other or both. And here's the way you judge that. Ask yourself the following question. Can I enlarge the smaller of those two bottom numbers and make it the larger of those two? Yeah, I can enlarge a two to make him into a four. How? By multiplying by two. So if I multiply two by two, well, then I have to multiply the top number by the same thing because he demands equal treatment. So 1 times 2, that makes a 2. The bottom 2 times 2 makes a 4. So what I'm doing is, that's a 4, by the way, okay. I'm taking 1 fourth plus 2 fourths because I've converted my 1 half into 2 fourths. And now we have the same denominator. 1 plus 2 is... 3, keep the same denominator. It's a proper fraction. I can't reduce it. That's the final answer. No problems. Let's keep going. Another one. Oh, it doesn't have a common denominator. I need to enlarge one or the other, maybe both. In this case, which is the smaller of the two denominators? 3. Can I enlarge a 3? To make it into a six. Yeah. Multiply by two. So I multiply the bottom times two. The top also by two. And whether I go that way or this, it doesn't matter. You realize that, I hope. So two times one, one times two is two. Two times three, that makes six. So the one third became two sixth. I still have this. So now I'm doing two sixth plus five sixth. I have a common denominator. I'm going to add the two top numbers. Two plus five is seven. Seven, six. But we've got a problem. Top number's bigger. That's an improper fraction. I've got to convert that to a mixed number. Well, and you can maybe, hopefully, do some of these in your head pretty easily. Uh, seven divided by six, but if you can't do them in your head, put it down. Seven 
Divided by six. Well, six goes into seven one time. One times six is six. I subtract, and that's one. So it's one and one sixth. I have the same denominator. Yep. Let's double check. One times six is six plus one. That makes seven. Yeah, boy, I got it right. <laughs> this is fantastic. Well, we got a lot more to talk about in reference to adding fractions, but we'll do that on the next video. It's now right under us, okay? Down there somewhere. I can see it from here.